compared to a mom and pop store? Like most mom and pop stores have two weeks of cash on hand. To- yeah, I mean, I, I think I, that's where I probably skew a little bit more like, okay, well they decided to start a company in tech during this time and you decided to start a laundromat and that is some of the things that come along with it. Good right. news laundromat, 99% of those companies actually go out of business. Mm-hmm. We hear about the ones that sell to Google or Facebook or go IPO. We right. do not hear about, and you know this, you've been through yeah. multiple rodeos. Yeah. There are some darlings right now, unicorns, that are actually not going to be in business. That's absolutely right. So, so I think there's pros and cons, you know. And I've been, I've been very close to both my whole life. Um, you know, there's pros and cons to r- running a normal great business that catch cash kicks out two million dollars in cash or two hundred thousand dollars in cash every year. You have an actual business there, are, uh, but you're not going to necessarily have access to VC money because you're not going to revolutionize the world and get a five hundred million dollar valuation on right. an idea. And that's the reality. That's the new reality, as you know. And one of the things that's interesting is watching Airbnb take that billion dollars from Silver Lake and Sixth Street Partners. You know, they need the money, and if they, if they and they, there might have been terms that were tough on them and so if they don't they're definitely worse yeah and if they don't have the leverage and they should because people are obviously believing that this will have this will thrive after this is over that if you're a small company maybe you should consider a loan to keep uh, people look my company every company what liquidity and for a rainy day just became super unpopular yeah. Savings became unpopular. Right. You know, like everything became offense. And I, you know, look, to be frank, I like these events because they do reset and you get a little bit yep. back to some normalcy. I don't like to say I like them because I'm devastated for people that were hurt by it. But there is some unbelievable truth of the people that got hurt were doing behaviors that created the hurt. There's been a lot of people, listen, you know a lot about my story, at least from afar. Like, I had a lot of leverage to do a lot of venture raising and a lot of certain things. I decided to go very practical. People made decisions and those decisions have ramifications. Right, absolutely. It's an interesting time. My brain is going a million miles an hour. How do I compartmentalize the time. You don't, you don't. You and I are too creative for that shit. Mm. Like don't beat yourself up. Like if the dog takes a shit or you don't wash your clothes or you missed an opportunity or because there aren't people around you and you didn't get the energy, you can't go live for as long. I mean, I'm nine to 11 on this show and yeah. I came on at 9.30 today because yeah. I had to take a business call at nine. I thought right. it was 9.15. Like you, you don't beat yourself up. Like, like you just don't overjudge yourself, Johnny. You just, yeah. honestly, you don't. You don't, like, because you know why? You're just gonna do the best you can. And that's and that's awesome. And like some shit's gonna drop and other things not gonna be as on point. And then, and then you're gonna learn some shit about you and you're gonna learn new stuff. Like it's, I'm telling you, bro, don't overthink it. It's, you know, like, because we weren't built for structure, bro. Right, that's what the thing is, is that I'm so used to having some type of a structure and now I'm trying to create- No, 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 you're used to having infrastructure around you. Perfectly said, yes, very much so. And now I'm this one man team, it feels like, I mean, I still have access to other people, right? I mean, I'm still working with them, we're able to communicate and learning new things about myself, such as how to use technology in order to do that. But it is a completely different fucking ball game. And I'm, just, go, just go with optimism here, like, look, I, I, my speaking career subsidizes my being able to go all in on everything else. I, I've mm. taken a massive hit, mm. like like real seven figures, not one. You yeah. know, like yeah. million. You know, like so. Like I'm yeah. real. I got annihilated with speaking. Um, uh, I only thrive with people around me. My team is like on top of me. But the reality is, we've got health. You know, twenty four. Yeah. You know what else, bro? How old are you? Um, timeless. I'm timeless, bro. That's how old I am. But, Fair uh, enough. Yeah. Tomorrow I'll be thirty four. I love it. What I like is that now you have this experience. Mm-hmm. Now you have this experience. Agreed, you know, and it's interesting because you say you were, you were here during 9-11, I was not. I came to Brooklyn in 2010 and I think to myself, in a weird and twisted way, not in a, not, I don't want to make this sound too sick, but I'm like, I'm, I'm getting to witness a part of history right here. A hundred, by the way. And I'm like, I take uh-huh. that, go ahead. No, no, I'm sorry, finish your thought. I know where you're going, but go ahead. Yeah, take it as, a, as, a, as a, almost a blessing in a, in a weird fucking twisted ass way. That's like a weird way to no, 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 it's not a dark way. It's actually 100% true. I think the same thing. This is, we will be telling the stories of these three to 12 months for the rest of our lives. Right. And you went to Brooklyn in 2010, like perfect timing, all rocket ship up. Yeah. This is good for you. You're a young man. You're gonna be doing this for 60 more years. They just keep ducking. What kind of what kind of what kind of content are you putting out? Um, really, as you can tell, I have curly hair, so that's really what catches people's attention. So 
So I'll just leave it out and I'll just have crazy so, amount. So are you, so does that mean you're doing photos in like, call it modeling? Are you doing funny uh, videos? Are you doing music? What I'm trying to do, I'm gonna give you the answer. I just need to know what the content is. Is it, I mean, I, uh, when I hear that, I hear modeling, which is amazing. I just wanna, right. like, don't worry about what you're doing. I just wanna know exactly what you're doing so I can give you good advice. Right, Um. that's the thing though, like, I do everything you said. I do modeling, I do, I'm just getting into music, so my fan base is really like, messing with that. Um. I'm, I do funny videos, I do all of it together. Can I give you a huge piece of advice? Yes. Take the three to four brands that you love the most. Yep. And what's your IG handle? Because people want it. Veronica already thinks you're cute. Uh, I see what it is. <laughs> it's a D2 underscores rock. D2 underscores rock. Got it. Um, listen, what you need to do is take your four favorite products. A soap, okay. a fucking a candle, a fucking drink, uh, you know, a piece of gum, your favorite candy, your favorite deodorant, and actually make fresh ass ads, and then the copy be like, yo, this isn't an ad, I'm just giving love because I fucking love Old Spice, or I fucking love Saratoga water. Like, make an ad that's fucking amazing, whether it's a great photo, modeling, whether it's a skit, right? right. I'm telling you right now, that. All right, yeah. Let me, let me, you see, I'm gonna break it down for you. You know how you're like super cute and have a great smile, which means girls come to you? Right. Other guys have to strategize to go. You have more leverage because you don't have to do that. What you need to do is that in business terms. You need to make the commercials. That's gonna bring them to you instead of you, you're thirsty on DM, bro. <laughs> Oh, man. All those guys you made fun of in high school, college, and now that you see they're going, you're like, I'm just gonna sit in the cut right here and it's gonna come to me? <laughs> right. You're that guy that you made fun of with brands. Mm. You're okay. thirsty. I want you to make the content as if, oh. and then watch the bees come to the honey. Okay, good, okay, got it. Um, one more question. Um, is there any, is there too much, too much content? No. Is there any, no, okay. Nope. All right. The algorithm and the way humans work, there's, 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 you're not good enough to make interesting enough content for too much content, but if you're good enough, if you're funny enough, if you're pretty enough, if you're smart enough, you can go forever. Yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, I mean, that was really the question. You, you know, got it? Fan, you got it? Yeah, definitely. Makes I'm sense. Start working on it. Yes. How many how, how how many posts a day do you do? Uh, I do one sometimes two. Great. You know where I'm going. You listen to me enough. This what's great about this is you need to put these four ads out in the next two weeks, and based yeah. on how little you post, you're set. You're just gonna do two, you know, a day, four times over the next fourteen days. You're good. Um, what I'm kind of working with is like using patience as delusion, kind of mm. like holding myself accountable, uh, holding myself accountable and dwelling. Mm. Like I could have done more yesterday, mm. but like I did some good. Like you know what I mean? Like accepting that. Like where does where does gratitude become contentment? That's where a great. Does, that's a great where question. Does ambition become like like yes, I want more, but like I'm so thankful for what I have already. Like in spite of nothing, like everything I have is Love in spite it. of nothing. I don't have that struggle that I wish I kind of did now. But um, like like how do you find that balance? And I think you're just gonna look at me and say it's self awareness. Like I know when I'm being a lazy fuck, and I know when I've done good. But, but you know it's actually I mean? yes, but I actually think it's a little bit different than that. Actually, it's not self awareness for me. Maybe it is the right answer for you. But let me go where I'm going. You're overthinking it. Charge you're over everything, bro. <laughs> no shit. You know, you're overthinking it. Like, do me a favor, don't analyze tomorrow. Excuse me, yesterday. Stop analyzing yesterday. And that's the thing, like I don't have like some arbitrary number, you know what I mean? Like like I'm 32 delivering pizzas. I know I don't want to be 35 delivering pizzas, but like Can I ask you a question? Like, On I'm some real sure. shit. Can I ask you a question? On some real yeah. shit. Are you happy? Dude, I'm so happy, bro. I'm bro. like the happiest I've ever been. Bro, listen to my fucking face. What? Please listen to my face. Cause that's that's what caught me. Bro, listen to my face. Delivering 30, being 35 and delivering pizza and being happy, 
is way better than being 27 and a VP on Wall Street and being unhappy and it's not fucking close. Bro, to the last breath I breathe, I will single-handedly, like a fucking Nova, try to change our culture to happiness, not money. With every ounce of my soul for the rest of my life, I'm completely convinced on this. Completely, brother. Yeah, and that's and that dude, I've been following your content for like three years, dude. And it's like, and once I started listening, it was like, dude, this is like the the whole reason I even had like confidence in myself, like back then, like when I was like, I was a fuck up my whole twenties, like my whole twenties. But in my head, I was like, like I've got massive self awareness, I've got good intentions, I'm a genuine person, like kindness, empathy, all that. So like putting put, put, put good on, on bad day, but it's like I feel like some days I sit back and I'm like. Uh, good things happen to good people. I'm just being a good person. And I'm like, you didn't do shit today, dude. You need to do, like, I preach macro, That's like, right. micro That's speed, right. micro patience, and like, and I'm not well, moving dude, fast I, sometimes. That's fine. That's different. You know, listen, bro, you just might not have ambition. <laughs> I mean, I do, but I, dude, I have shit here. work ethic. Dude, my work ethic is dog shit. That's because the one you thing I haven't picked up yet. Because you trying. don't, because you, because you don't like what you're doing. Yeah. Do you like the Jets? Uh, I like them because you, Wayne Krebets, my dude. <laughs> I, he got a he got a raw shake playing in the wrong time, and uh, Jericho Cotter won a uh, a fantasy league for me years <laughs> back. So I've got a soft spot what, for a few what, of what's what's your favorite shit? Like, what do you do? Do you like video games? Do you like music? Do you like fucking so, so TV? Right now I'm flipping, so right now I'm flipping shit from thrift stores on the side, and How I've got plans. Is to that fun? My own, uh, I'm sorry. Do you like that? Or do you do that because I like it? Love it. What's up? And, What's up? Uh, I hope I love this whole like. I, bro, do you like the uh, do you like the uh, flipping? I love it. Bro, you'll make a lot more money flipping full time than you will pizza. <laughs>